Hello, everyone. RBG Kim Kid here back with some more. Zimbabwe like Chronicles 3, Future Redeemed. In the previous video, we made our way to the Black Mountain, and now we are going to be doing some side quests here. I I hope this all. I hope I can fit all the side quests that I can do in one part here. It might be a long part, or eh, who knows? If I edit it down, maybe it can be uh, not that long. But anyway, as you guys see, I'm in a different area. Uh, how I got here? Well, since we are able to make that lift, and since I have uh, the crystal, uh, bada beam, bada boom, made our way all the way here, and yeah, I basically went around exploring. All I basically have to do in every single area is either defeat unique monsters or see the affinity scenes. The only exception to that is, of course, the um, Black Mountain, the Black Mountain area, since we're not that far in. Um, so that's what we're actually going to go do first. We're going to go see every single affinity scene uh, that I can. Uh, right now and then uh, how many fantasy scenes do I have left up here? I have two So yeah, um, yeah, I was able to like uh, yeah I pretty much just went around did everything uh, some unique monsters and other things showed up in this in the vermilion woods area Which is you kind of really never come back here um, But yeah some unique monsters. There's two of them here and They're both level 90 and they're both part of this so I would assume if you try to get one of them there's a, it's an Agnian, it's an Agnian and Cavesi, uh, Pharaonis. And then there was like a, an enemy territory thing here too that popped up. And then there was a, a, uh, unique monster that showed up there. But he was easy. He was like only like level 30 something. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I got the unique monsters there. I got the affinity scenes here and one unique monster. Uh, so yeah, you are able to come down here because what happens is this also becomes an enemy territory. And then you can make an ether lift, and then there's like another enemy territory here and such. So, yeah, it's it's really good. It's it's really helpful to find these uh, ether masts because then they help you like find other stuff too. Uh, but you definitely need um, try your best to get the ether channels because uh, yeah, I actually did run out of that ether channels for a little bit. Oh yeah, the only thing I have. Over here, the uh, unique monster showed up up here. He's level 70, so yeah, all all the unique monsters are left, which or at least left in the areas that we've been through, quote unquote, all of it for. They're really high leveled. Well, I could probably take on this one over here. He's level 60, and I'm like what level like 50 something. I might be able to take him on, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah. Um, and then everything over here. Yeah, this one was a little tricky, so you have to like climb all the way up here. Uh, and then there's like a little cliff that's where a relic was and you can go over there and get the ether mast even though it only helps like within a certain parameter i believe it's kind of like around here uh or maybe it does do the whole thing oh no 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 there's an ether mast over here so yeah the, then the unique monster that's left in this area is right here i i'm gonna assume he only shows up during specific weather probably during rain which kind of sucks but oh well i beat this guy because he was a pain in the ass um, and yeah, I, we still have like everything to do over here too. So, but that's because we still have ways to go. So yeah. Um, but anyway, yes, let, we're going to watch, uh, all the affinity scenes, uh, starting with this one. Cause this one was the most out of the way. So we were going to watch this one. This reminds me of the Torna village. Matthew, this place. Kyra's settlement. Oh, we were going to build a second city. Her family and others came here to lay the groundwork. Huh. And now, there's not even a single city left anywhere. But I swear, I'll rebuild it one day, in memory of Grandad, and all the other fallen. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. I've been meaning to say this for a while, but once the city's rebuilt, you'll come with, won't you, eh? You know you'll always be welcome. That's, uh, well... That sounds good, actually. I'll think it over. <laughs> that was nice. I like that. I love these affinity scenes. Not only do they, like, especially the ones where, like, Shulk and Rex are involved, because those definitely, like, punch you a little bit in the gut about, um, uh, nostalgia from the first and second game. Here's our destination. But they're also, like, really good. They're all good. All these affinity scenes are fucking good. <laughs> Good as hell. Oh. Mysterious Fragment. Okay, that's like the second one, at least, I've had. 
Um, don't know what those are for. Those are probably what I have to do with Riku. Fusing a Kavessian, Agni, and Ferranis together? This is inconceivable. Inconceivable. There's a Mobius who researches Ferranis flame clocks, developing experimental tech and what have you. Might be his handiwork that this was based on. Why? Yeah. But you know what? No, what? It must have taken a lot of engineering to make it work. I'm really curious. Wish we could bring it back for analysis. Oh, well. Here comes Shulk's fatal weakness. I agree, Shulk, sir. I want to mm -hmm. study it too. Don't encourage him. Like father, like son, huh? Ah, that's nice. Um, also, I found a shit ton of Nopon coins. Obviously, so we'll be able to hand in a lot of those in. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's my second one. My guess is these are the, um... These could be parts of origin that they make for the origin pieces or whatever they're called that they use to put make the eye patches for. Maybe. Um, what else was there? Fuck, I completely forgot what I was going to mention. Oh, yeah, uh, City Survivors. Um, so City Survivors, the only ones I found, um, luckily all the ones that were left to be found were alive uh, or stayed alive. Um... And I'm gonna save. I might as well save this one for last since we'll be coming here anyway. Uh, where's the next one? Okay, right there. Uh, you know what? One right here, so we'll go there. Um. Uh. So yeah, I I kind of would have liked to have shown the city survivors, but they all were like okay. very we'll generic uh, responses. They're like, oh yeah, you know, like come to the city. There was nothing really too like, oh yeah. You, I mean, there was like one character that like knew who Matthew was and. We'll get to them. I'll I'll show you all all the characters. Um, obviously, once we're done with all the missions and such too. Um, yeah. This place reminds me of a legend, the Lord of Ragwell Lake. Lord. They Lord. say it's only ever sighted on stormy days. It's reputed to be a vicious and dangerous beast. If we could. I'd love to take care of it before somebody gets hurt. Oh, wait. I'm getting deja vu. Like something similar's happened here before. A monster that only appears with thunder. Ah, oh, that's a cool story. If we see the thing, I say we take oh, a swing Oh, fuck. At it. I remember that. That was also like a... I think I remember... Th that was a quest in uh, the base, uh, <laughs> base game. That was a quest in Xeoblade Chronicles 1. With the monster that only showed up during, uh, like, thunderstorms or something. And I was right. I was right. That motherfucker's only going to show up during a thunderstorm, so... That was going to be rough. But, ah, uh, it should be doable. There are a couple of enemies that I, I... I have almost the entire thing filled for. I think the only enemies I'm missing for... At least for, like, in terms of, like, all enemies, quote-unquote. I think I need to kill at least one more enemy of two kinds of enemies uh, for the uh, Vermilion Woodlands, and then I gotta defeat the two unique enemies, of course. Ah, the ruins. That place! What... what is it, Shulk? <sighs> the last time I explored these ruins, something crawled up towards us from below. Yeah. the leader of the local Antols. It caught me and my friends completely... Oh, surprised. yeah. So I'm still... I remember confused. that. Oh, dear. I'm not really feeling that. No, indeed. Neither was I. <laughs> I'm not really feeling it, guys. I'm not really feeling it. Um, actually, you know, I said we. I, I'd save that if anything for last, which I am going to. But I do want to get pick up this uh, quest first. So let's go pick up that quest. Um. Which I guess I could have picked it up if I went this way. Which way next? By climbing up. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm done. That was an unpleasant occurrence. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, there was a, I believe there's a, a relic up here too. Well, not up here, but like you climb up here and then you can climb oh, no. How did this happen? that. Oh, well, what the heck? Huh? What's this? It's a lute. A variety of musical instrument played by plucking strings. Loot? Hey, doesn't it look a bit like Glimmer's Blade? Is this also a weapon? Nah, see, you're used, you're used to instruments of destruction, whereas this thing's only an instrument of, uh, music? I think the easiest way to explain would be to play it directly, but I think I'm not qualified. It's broken anyway, see? The string's missing. Hey, gal! So, can I take this loot thing? Oh, but you heard him, it's broken. Yeah, I know, it's just, it seems kind of a waste to leave a line here. I don't see any harm in it. And who knows, we might even be able to get it fixed at some point. In fact, isn't there some shop in Colony 9 that sells loots? Is there? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I think I remember something like that. Cool, I'll well, be sure to stop by. Unstrung loot. A melody sustain. Well, we might as well do that one. Alright, but first things first, let's go take care of this affinity scene. The last one! Uh, out of all the areas we've been to, besides obviously Black Mountain. Yeah, see, right there. Level 7. Yeah, he's going to be up paying the dick. I'm actually curious of how many levels I can level all the way up to. Glimmer. What? What is it all of a sudden? A long time ago, I made a decision here. Oh, this is when. No what it cost me. It's for the this is when he fought me. uh Malos and Jin, and he got Numa. Through hell and high water, and gladly. So. Why are you telling me this? I just want you to know that you're never alone. Uh, okay. I'm oh not my God. It's fine. Or we know. I've said my piece. That's enough for me. I'm pretty sure that's what she wants too. Is it? Is that the area? Yeah. Oh, what, what's 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 this area called? Goldrock Oracle Ruins. I would have. Yeah, I'm gonna think that is the case. I'm gonna say that is the case. I don't know. I was thinking like, oh, or or that could be um. Let's level, let's also um upgrade our weapons too, because we can. I'm pretty sure we can upgrade those. I was like, oh, maybe it's the um. Uh, the place where he got Adam's sword first before he, uh, you know. I was like, no, nah, that's more so in a different area. I think so. Um, I'm pretty sure that's this area right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, mm, I don't know. Oh my god, we're really doing this again? Where the... Oh my gosh. Why are you doing this to me, game? You freak me the fuck out when you do this. We've arrived. Where to next? Uh, where to next is in here so we can upgrade our weapons. Oh yeah, we can definitely upgrade our weapons. Well, I can upgrade only one person's weapon once. I'm curious what the max is. It probably is 10. Luminescent Lyothin. What the fuck? Hmm. I'll have to see, like, where I got that from. Actually, hold on. Can I see that from here? Um, I guess it would be... Uh, 
So I'll fit so L L L L L. Oh, oh, there we are. That doesn't help. Oh, maybe I, maybe I get. Oh, what would help is if I do this from enemies, huh? Oh, I the yeah, I just need to beat you. One more of you and then the oh and one more of you. Ah, the Dark Lyre. Okay, that's what I get from. Okay. Alright, let's go. We'll continue on the quest. So we're going to do a quest. We'll pick up a new quest, then we do that quest. So on and so forth. We've been seeing lots of city people around lately, huh? Indeed. Proof our search is bearing fruit. It's gotten pretty bustling here, huh? Brings back Fight for the city's restoration my own way. Not doing it for the others. And if these liberators don't like that, they can go stick it. I'm Mike, come on. After all they've done for you? Let it go, Matthew. He's free to do what he wants. <laughs> Oi, liberators. What's the meaning of this? Listen, citizens now, are we? Pipe down, mate. You go wrong. The volunteers. They enlisted themselves. They've chosen to fight with us for the city. Just as you have yourself. Bah. Be that as it may, sloppy train like that is going to get people killed. Mark my words. Then give them a hand. Bassey will be immensely grateful for the help, I'm sure. What? Why, you cheeky little. That's not the issue, and you know it. I don't believe it. Jethro accepted you. You? Jethro's a friend of yours, I take it. We're comrades in arms, both of us born warriors. He's a prideful man, is Jethro. At least so I thought. Can't fathom what he... What could have changed his mind? They've got something to say to us. We're born to pick with you, Lot. Those liberated train drills, they're a piece of piss. I'll be personally supervising the Volunteer Army too from now on. Well, that's terribly kind of you. We'll be glad for the extra assistance. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I'm only helping on a temporary basis. You annoy me. I might just walk. Gee, someone talks tough. Any chance he's iron heart of gold under that thorny personality? I do hope I don't need to remind you that the real enemy here is Mobius. Even when the battle here is won, any victory is short-lived. You must never let down your guard. We won't. Now, now that you, we need you to remind us, mind. As long as you're aware. Oh yeah, also, I should probably point this out. Matthew is now 100% done. He has everything unlocked. He has all of his affinity growths unlocked. He has um, all arts unlocked. He has gems and accessories unlocked. Uh... A is the same. She has everything unlocked. And I believe... Yep. Nicole is the same as well. So I have three characters fully unlocked. Oh, no. Never mind. He needs a gem. Nicole needs a gem. And you need a gem and accessory. And you need gem and accessory. And you need arts, gem, and accessory. Yes, I found all the affinity growth rates things. There are a couple of them that are found as key items. But just as long as you have that key item thing upgrade for your X-Radar... That will definitely come in handy for sure. All right, uh, let's talk to Miguel. Welcome. Right, the pretty ladies are loot. Uh, not exactly. I was wondering, can you look at this one for me? Ooh. Oh, -ho. Oh, well, who would have thought? Tell me, where'd you get this? Oh, uh, I just picked it up on the gr off the ground on the way somewhere. Really? How curious. What, is it actually yours? Oh, not at all. But nevertheless, I do know all about it. This isn't just any old loot like the ones you see on my display. It's a famous piece. One might say even legendary. Crafted by a master of his art, who is sadly no longer of this world. 
so it's quite the find. He never made many, and the ones that survive to this day are incredibly rare indeed. You have a priceless treasure on your hands. It passed through the hands of many a, a virtuoso in the, in the Belal city's history, till at some point it went missing. Whoa, that's amazing. Hear that, Glimmer? Priceless treasure, he said. Yes, well, the price of this loot is literally incalculable and immeasurable. But you are the one who ought to have it and play it, pretty lady. None other. Why me? As I said, the loot has been in the inheritance of countless virtuoso players across the ages. Okay, I'm trying to remember. Was there a loot player somewhere in the city in the base game? I'm trying to remember. I can't off the top of my head really think. Ah, uh, Boomer? I know Boomer liked music, but did he play the loot? Hmm. And seeing your strong yet graceful fingers, I know that you will lo you yourself are also an eminent musician in your own right. Which is to say, it was in a sense in a, in a sense in, in inevitable that the loot would find its way into your worthy hands. Okay, but like, can you fix it, right? To my eyes, it appears that it would be as simple as replacing the strings. If you bring me the materials, I will take full responsibility of getting it in playable order. Tell us what you need. Hopefully, everything that I already have. According to the ancient techniques by which the loot was constructed, the highest grade strings were made from animal intestines. And to the best of my knowledge of those, the guts of a rare giant antelopes procure the very sweetness of timbers. I see, I see. Uh, no. One sec. Did you say guts? Yes, guts indeed! <sighs> you seem to have reservations. Don't suppose there's anything you could substitute for those? Modern manufacturing techniques make use of metal wires or synthetic fibers, but those would not suit a loot such as yours. Giant Analord, was it? I feel like I've seen, I saw one once at the old Largo Baja Battlefront. Oh, there was one in this region. How fortuitous at Windfall. I'll go ahead and leave the loot with you. We'll do something about the materials. Acknowledge! I will await news and make preparations as I do so. Luck be with you. So, it's an enemy that's not gonna be... Yeah, okay. Where'd you go? Where is you so? Right there. Ah, okay. So the quest will take me down this way. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. That was a track. Wait, what? Did another quest just pop up somewhere? Oh my god, another quest just popped up over there. Motherfucker. Okay. So there probably is going to be at least two more parts then. Well, we'll see. That's a big goat. There it is. I must be the analog we're after. How did it grow to such a size? Truly a rare specimen if ever I saw one. It'll be a pain in the ass if it runs off. Let's take it down here and now. Banana. 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 If someone wants to break this motherfucker. No 
There we are. Destruction! Destruction! Right on. Let me, you're up. Up for what? What do you mean, what? We need the thing's guts, don't we? So we gotta slice it open. Then we can get your hands around the pipes, then. Gonna stop you right there. Unless you actually act actively want me to barf. Bah, kids these days. Turn around. I'll do it for you. Thanks, Dad. In fact, anyone squeamish about blood can look the other way. This might get a wee bit graphic. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. It's going to be so graphic, we're not going to show it. Right, let's double time it. I love it. I I I'm I've fallen in love with Glimmer and uh Nicole. I fall in love with everyone. I saw a character there that can be added, so hold on. Oh my god, fucking seriously? Um oh, okay. Which way next? Well, it wasn't as long, but it was still a pain in the ass. I never say it to her face, but I'm actually kinda grateful to destroy me. Somehow or another, I always end up being roped into her bonnet brain schemes. But it's also given me an opportunity to talk to a lot of liberators freely and openly. Without sewing me, I'd probably just be seen around alone in my own little island. One way or another, she's the special one. It's a good thing you two made friends then. Haha, <laughs> it is, isn't it? For her sake as well, I hope. Soys me. It's dog's body. Unbelievable. Sony's managed to cause a mountain of work for me. Show responsibility, eh? Don't take it too personally. Uh, if she tries any other kind of funny business, I'm really going to have to put my foot down next time. Yeah, <laughs> my condolences. <laughs> Someone else right here. Oh, well, there she is. Soy me. You know, Linka's dad sounds like the coolest guy that ever lived. When we were kids, she used to tell me all the stories about the wild adventures he went on with her mom. That's probably what gave me a wild hair for... Wild hair for exploring and treasure hunting and stuff. Thirst for the great unknown. I know where you're coming from, but I have to be straight with you. I know, I know. I'll stay level head and not go gallivanting off on any foolhardy expeditions. I got you. But just once before I die, I like to go on chasing it after my dreams, okay? For the record, that part's non-negotiable. And on that note, I'm going to go put my bucket list down on paper. Oh, my God. Keep in touch, yeah? Uh, so it's back to the grindstone the moment we got home. Give me a break. And they seriously want me on toilet clean duties? They're making it out like I'm the bad guy here. You serious? Deadly. Dang you, Linka. I'd be stub a toe on some furniture. Oh yeah, also off screen I did, uh... Oh, and I will remain on site for the keep things tricking with logistics. It's my duty to share my experience as Kvetsi with the Liberators, after all. Glad to hear it. We trust you to keep the home fires burning. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I also completed all the requests on the board. But we'll see. Obviously, there's got to be more that pops up at some point. Hello again. I see you've succeeded in safely procuring our di disarmament. Or whatever the fuck. Yeah, uh, eventually. Now, please wait a moment. I'll get the old belly fixed up in no time. Old bell? Old bell. Why say belly? Yeah. Look at it. There, it's done. From now on, it's your loot. Thanks. Actually, can I ask one more thing? Oh, and what might that be? I don't really know how to play. Would you, uh, mind teaching me? I wouldn't mind, of course. I wouldn't, but I'm afraid I may not be equal to the task. I am a skilled enough craftsman, but somewhat embarrassingly, my ability as a player is mildly not best. In that case, I will teach you. Wait, what? Whoa, you can play the loot, eh? I dabble. Certainly I wouldn't call myself a virtuoso. Huh. Well, this I didn't see coming. Thanks a bunch, eh? Well then, can we get started? Why not? It's as good as any time as any. In a view of the situation, could you choose a loot for me as well? Of course. It will be my pleasure to give you one. And my honor too. 
If you desire to play to your heart's content, there's a generous offer, and I appreciate it. But are you sure? You need be shy. After all, it is the player that makes the loot. Without a pair of hands to tenderly strum it, no heart wrench ballad can arise. No ducklet song to stir body and soul. Right then, pretty lady, behold! What's this? It's a musical score. I have set down the melodies of the city's musicians in sheet music. Alas, memory has its limits, and the songs that delighted the city in the past continue to slip away from me. Nothing would please me more than if you were to bridge the gap between yours, between us, your predecessors, and the future with song. It's a deal. He won't be forgotten, but my loot. By my loot, I swear it. Hey! Aw, I like that. So these melodies were entrusted to Glimmer. Perhaps one day. Perhaps the day will come when she too achieves great renown for her skills as lose. I guess she does. Shall we go see them briefly? I'd more or less come to terms with the fact that this place shall puncture the end of my story, you know. Be in my valley of years. Don't say that. Oh, but here's the thing. Ever since I met you, Mary Band, I've had a change of heart. Frail as the body is, I can still entrust my instruments to future musicians, to those who can carry on the trade. Driven by this purpose, I cannot afford to shuffle off this mortal coil just yet. That's right. If you've got time left to spare, you've got to use every last bit of it. You're absolutely right. Dear youngsters, thank you for blessing my life with meaning. You can rely on us anytime. How goes the loot practice, Glimmer? Not bad. He's been teaching me whenever we get a spare moment. Just as you surmise, she has quite the knack for it. It's a pleasure to instruct her. <laughs> Music to my ears! I look forward to the rides of the new young virtuoso! Is it, it is time of hardship for the city folks, it's true. But now they have glimpsed renowned hope. Oh well, yeah, we ain't done yet. With a bit of cooperation, we might even realize our dream to get the city rebuilt. Good lad! You keep... A hold of that confidence and never let go, you hear? Yay, okay, um... Obviously, you're there, you're there, but the, there's a canteen, so we're gonna get another, uh... Let's do this one, because this might be one that I'm able to do right away, because this is gonna be another food one. Rex, you've got that look again. The one that says you're itching to cook. No, I don't. I was just thinking, is all. The third torpedo wrap. You like that one, don't you? No, no, I've never had one, so I couldn't really say. I see. So I'm the impression that all the youngs went gaga for it. What are you talking about? Oh, well, we gather the ingredients first. Then we can find out if we like it or not. Cooking with Rex Part 3. Okay, time to get cooking. I still need to cook. I'm going to cook at some point. Don't you worry. Ooh, that looks good. Right, it's done. I actually made some chicken strips last night. Really good. Um, probably could have... They honestly probably could have been cooked a little bit longer, but I think they're still good. Aw, uh, uh, did she like those when she was younger? Aw... Uh, The furrow torpedo wrap Rex made was superb. Try making it at the campsite sometime. Having shown off his culinary skills, Rex seems quite content. Alright. So, how many more quests do we have? Three? One, two, three. Okay, yep. Let's see what Jethro has. But first, let's talk to these people, even though I know they're... They're max, but still. Hey, come on, I'm pegging you. You gotta take me with you to origin. You never learn, do you? I can tell you for a fact you're not going to find treasure in that thing. I don't care. I want to go with you. It's an uncharted territory. Mystery beyond it and a bigger mystery. I can't miss this chance. Please, you gotta. It's the only thing I'll ever ask. I'll never bother you with anything ever again. You better ask Hans to rein her in. <laughs> uh, so Snowmy just won't shut up about wanting to go to Origin. She's desperate for you to take her with her. Titan's foot. Goes at it again, eh? Make sure she stays put, will ya? For her own sake. I will. Even if I have to tie her down myself. 
Hey, best of luck to you all. Actually, that reminds me, sir. And not currently, I suppose. But then again, I probably do have to talk to some people first. But anyway, jet throw. Oh, is this where we're gonna come up with the uh, memorial stones? Is this all from the fallen city people? Yeah, don't have to say it. I know nothing will come of doing this, but. Now the Remembrance Stones are gone. I want to pay my respects like this at least, you know. The stones, eh? Yeah, nothing we could do about that. Okay, so I guess they've already had them, but I guess they'll make them again, so... Mm. If you don't mind me asking, what were the Remembrance Stones? Stone tablets with the name of our fallen comrades engraved on them. They are like one of the city's permanent features. Even after our friends disappeared from the world, their names will remain there still, on the Remembrance Stones. It was important to us city folk. It meant something. Oh, I understand. No, hang on. Matthew, is something wrong? We're missing a trick here, Le Jethro. If the Remembered Stones are no more, then we'll just have to make a new ones. Right here. You're in Colony 9? No, come on. You're taking an enormous effort. How will we go about finding such giant stone slabs. Yeah, you're right. That's why I thought we could make some substi substitutions. We could use sheet metal instead. that will be sturdy and resistant and transportable if, if it comes to it. They could be Porta Memorials, just until we re restore the city to its old glory. How's that sound? Yeah, I see now. For sure it sounds like a good idea. So yeah, you heard all that. Could we put them up in the square? Of course. If it's the will of the citizens, I have no reason to demur. Sounds like a great plan and all, but it'll involve a lot of el el oak work. You'll need those metal sheets prepared and someone with the skills to carve the names. It's all good. I've got an idea already. If I remember correctly, we should have people with those skill sets among those we've rescued. I'll say exactly. I'll go and ask him personally. Step by step. Day by day, fresh start over. Do 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 do. Ruben and Kathy. Yep, Kathy was actually one of the characters that I rescued off screen. I think she was actually the last character uh, I rescued. Might be better the second time around. Oh, new remembered stones, you say? Yeah, that's right. Although we reckon stone is a bit unwieldy for the mo, so we were thinking sheet metal instead. Makes sense, and it explains why you need a metal worker like myself. Well, call me interested. It'll be a good test for my skills. Uh, but speaking frankly, if I make the metal too hard, then I'll also be resistant to delicate carving. Ugh, you serious? Ah, oh, relax. It's nothing I can't figure out. Leave it to me, and I'll have it in, made in spares. Once the first one's ready, I'll bring it to the central plaza, all right? Keep a lookout. Will do, thanks. Glad to have you on board. They've made dog tags, right? Like, dog tags were made. <laughs> I want to accidentally trigger. Let's talk to Dylan. Oh, so Clarity was alive. Miracles do happen. I mean, she's got some real metal. She wasn't going to lie down that easy now, was she? I wasn't worried about her one bit. Dylan, oh Dylan. Someone's not being very honest with themselves. Oh no, she, Clarity, was the last one that I rescued. I met Dylan earlier. It's such a relief he's safe. I, I mean, if nothing else, the man's a walking armored chestnut. Practically uncrackable. Why would I be worried about him? Oh, that's Dylan to a T. Well, for record, I think he was pretty worried about you. Oh, really? Well, I'll bear that in mind. I hear you and Dylan managed to find the missing children. Remember the time you, me, and Dylan all slipped out of the city that time to go exploring? Yeah, we did all this all stealth fight until Granddad dragged us back home and gave us a proper earful. Now you're the one dragging people back home. You're doing your Granddad proud. And you've become a pretty damn good doctor. 
Guess we both had a bit of growing up to do, eh? I, Jonas of the God, do solemnly swear to defend the people of the city unto my dying breath. May your hopes and dreams be granted a thousandfold, young Master Matthew. Cheers, Jonas. I know you've got your backs. I do deserve not deserve such praise. So I wasn't the only survivor. That makes me feel a bit better. But there are also children among those who escape, and they're missing their parents. We'll do whatever it is in our power to keep the children safe and happy. Thank you. I'll try to contribute however possible as well. It's such a relief that the kids are all so well behaved. I think they understand what's going on, you know. It pains my heart to see such innocent things placed in such horrid situations. I know. They're meant to be living their lives somewhat safe, happy and carefree. Hey, Matthew. Is this place not safe anymore? If something that big ends up falling on us... It's not gonna happen, trust me. Yeah, okay, trust you, I do. You'll sort things out just like you always do. I know I had that extra bit there, but oh well. Uh, anyway, I need to talk to other Kathy. Kathy, 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 Kathy. Harvey! So if we want to wear war at the end, we'll need to rescue the Kavesi Queen after all. Oh, the Liberators know where they are though, right? Not yet, it seems. We need to search the whole of Ionius. That could take an excruciating any long time. So long as we pers persevere, I'm sure we'll find a way through all this someday. The ones who succeed, Kaylee and I, they'll finish what we started. Sure they will. Hello, oh, Kathy. You want to make new remembrance stones, eh? Yeah, that's your idea. I was hoping you'd be willing to call the names. Oh well, it's an honor to be chosen for an illustrious task such as that, to be sure. Of course I'll rise to the occasion. I do owe you for the rescue anyway. I'll get my preparations in order. Let's pick this up later, alright? Sure thing. We'll be away in the central plaza. Oh, and there's the man himself. We're already on your end now. Right, and thanks very much for your help. Well then, shall we get started? Hey, Matthew. I really can't thank you enough. Aw, oh, come off it. All I did was get the ball rolling, no more. I never could have come up with an idea like this. We're building remembrance stones outside the city. It's just... There must have been something holding me back subconsciously. I think I was too dead set on wanting to keep the past intact. Right now, though, what the city needs is people who aren't afraid to change. Of change. People like you, Matthew. Come on now. You make me blush. Well, let me just say this then, Matthew. The si Matthew, the sea folk can't do without you. Let's rebuild it together. All the strength I've got to offer, I lay at your feet. Thanks, mate. Feel stronger knowing you're with me. We'll raise a new city. This remembered stone is just the first step. Aww. No, oh, well, okay, it's not done yet. I was about to say, another, well, I mean, it'll probably be done in a little bit here, but still not, it's not bad. Oh. I think, well, I, I still, oh my god. The new remembered stone has been erect. Earning you, you gratitude as a gift from City Survivors. I think... This this reminds me of the scene in Xenoblade Chronicle in the base game uh, after you do Monica's hero quest and you find all the personnel and then Noah and Mio are playing the music and then the the lights go off. Oh, that seems goddamn. I'm just tearing up thinking about that. Holy shit, that was a good ass scene. All right, with Ruben and Kathy on board, you managed to get the first new remembered stone in. Erected at Colony 9. This marks the first step towards the city's restoration. I also got the gem unlocked, so that is for Nicole. A little prep goes a long way. Now Nicole is fully done. Now I have three characters fully done. So I need accessories and gems and an art. That's it. Two, uh, three, three accessories, three gems, one art. 
Got to hear the latest. So I heard setting up a replacement remembrance stone in the plaza was your idea. Everyone's been saying how happy they are about it. Some are even calling you their new leader. How about that? Leader. Nah, come on. That's a bit much. It really isn't. You know how damn important those slabs are to us. I always knew you were destined for greatness, you know. Looks like I was right on the mark. So keep doing what you're doing. And be the charge the city folks need, eh, leader? Matthew's best mate. Keep in touch, yeah? Hey, did you know that our Mickey was pretty b besought with Niall? Wait, seriously? Sweat on the city. I knew you wouldn't notice. You're not very quick on the uptake with these things, are you? Huh, guess not, no. Mickey and Niall, eh? Sorry, I'll go sort this out with him right now. What? Hold on. You don't mean like stalking him one or anything. Shall we go <laughs> see them briefly? It used to be that the engraving of the stones was a symbol of recognition, even to masters artisans who spent years honing their craft. Now a novice like me has to carry on the tradition. I'm still staunch by it all. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it getting too much for you? I'm feeling the pressure a little, but as someone who takes pride in their work, there's no greater honor. Don't worry, I won't bring shame upon my forebears. The work will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. You might find this strange, but when I look at Origin, I feel odd, not by its size, but its beauty. Then again, perhaps its beauty is such that it inspires a certain dread. Could it really have been man-made? Interesting. Later. It's quite an honor to be given the task of engraving names on the remembered stones. But as the names add up, it really does start to weigh on you. Are you in there, Kathy? I would dearly hope that the task of engraving your name doesn't fall to me. Nor are the hopes and dreams of the city. So don't go dying out there. Oh, fuck. Well, Rex and Shulk's names will for sure be carved in there. I may be an arson, but I also consider myself fairly well versed in the art of war. If I must fight, then rest assured their blood shall rain upon the battlefield, and they shall know the name of Vanquisher Kathy. Okay, I'm scared now. <laughs> I just, of course. Do you really? As far as I know, the old master never once used a blade. If a true master hones his strength unarmed, is that then the very act of using a weapon on Kuth? Mm, might want to take that with a pinch of salt. Granddad was kind of a hermit after all. Wise asset. Then I must follow in his footsteps and choose the path of the fist. Might, there's really no reason to. What about this Alpha? What a horrible thing to have befell your sister. Yeah, think about it. This means the attack on the sea was all our fault. Stop. No one is to blame here. I know it's not my place to say, but try not to let it weigh you down, Matthew. I'll try. We may be able to ask them this and that. Matthew. Would you mind having a bout with me? Uh, sure. What's brought this on? I've been training myself from the ground up again with the old master's teachings in mind. I was hoping you might see my progress first, before I show anyone else. Ha! Oh, you're really shocked about this, eh? Ha! <sighs> Surprised myself. It's been a long time since I felt the old fine spirit surging through my veins. Well, good on ya! I'm always ready to tussle with you up for it. Finally leaving for origin, to rescue Nile. Hey Jethro, if anything happens to us, I want you to take good care of the city folk. <laughs> Can't argue the greatest such terms. Heh, <laughs> harsh. Only because I believe in your safe return, it won't come to that. When Nile comes home, let's show her the birth of our new city, shall we? Hell yeah. This is perfect weather to go fight that one enemy that I need to fight. Okay, is there anyone else currently that I can like... At least not on the map, it seems. Oh, no, there's one person. Oh, and another quest popped. Or, no, I think that quest always, was always there. Um, but there's one person I can get. So let me go get that person first before I pick up a quest. Clarity. As I suspect, this place could really use a doctor, too. I won't lie. I'm glad of the wel warm welcome. Would have been nice to have encouraged them sooner, though. The lives we could have saved. Don't go down that hole. You'll do what you can. And things are going to be that much better from now on, right? You make it sound so simple. Though, yes, I'll get the job done. Aww. Always nice to see. 
Uh, no, I didn't want to talk to you. Stop it. I didn't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Clarity. You're going to bring Niall back to us, right, Matthew? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Sure am. Let's see. Now have to prepare something in advance for your triumphant return, won't I? Oh, I like the way you think. It's because I have no doubt you'll do it. Come back home safe, both of you. Graffiti? Ah, uh, that looks like Tansel stuff. Alright, fess up. Who's gone on the, the face of the local property? Oh, uh, oh, this is not okay. If I found out how to do this, I'll teach them the price of this kind of tomfoolery. Are we sure this is just vandalism? It does seem more thought out than just a regular scribble. Kind of hits you, right? It presents itself like some kind of her heraldry, much too refined to be the work of an amateur. There's text alongside it, too, but I can't work it out. What language could it be? Sh Rex, you should know this! On high plain duskings a ruined keep, a mere step beyond the gates of hell sleep. Rex, you know this script. Ah, uh, so is this what I think it is? Yeah, it's old Al Alrestia, no mistaken. And here's the kicker. I recognize this design. This ain't no random graffado, mark my words. It won't be too much of a stretch to guess that the inscriptions point us towards a place. A place, sure, but where's that, what's there? Your guess is good as mine, but there must be something. Something? Great. Can we get anything a little more concrete here? You won't know that the graffitius invites you to solve his or her riddle. Don't know who did this or what their game was, but it's clear they've gone to a lot of trouble for it. Heh, <laughs> this got me fired up. I, Rex, accept your challenge, oh, anonymous scribbler. Having fun there, Rex. Sure am. Been a while since I've had a good puzzle to crack. Alright, run that riddle by me again. I think it went on high plank dusking a ruined keep. A mere step beyond the gates of hell's sleep. Ugh, I got nothing. High plain ruined kept hell. It's gotta be there, I reckon. Speaking from expertise, this kind of puzzle is merely a test of patience. Let's take our time thinking this over. If walls could speak. Oh god, am I not gonna get like actual any information on like where to go? Nope. Son of a bitch. High plain hey, dusking. Keep beyond the gates of hell sleep. We've got something for you. Bobo, I appreciate hard work of friends. Please do wait a sec while Bobo we confirm. Yep, all look great. Please continue on flagging efforts. For all the rewards I do of friends today, please to make possible use of. This number of no palm mail is nothing to sniff at. Final goal is almost to reach out untouchable. If I need more, please to bring to shape of Bobobi. Bobobi delighted to work working with friends. Got something for you. Boy, appreciate hard work, friends. Please wait a while before we confirm. Incredible, marvelous. So many no problem mails all in single place. Behold the reward that due to friends today. Please to make best possible use of. If I need more, please to bring to trouble Bobobi. Bobobi delighted to be working with friends. Got something for you. Alright, he's just saying the exact same things. And now I need more. Okay, how many of these do I have that I get? Well, I got the silvers and I got the gold, so that means I got two more from him, right? Uh, let me check the party skills. So, Let's keep this to hand for our travels. of course they keep the speed jogger and the swift swimmers the last ones. So how many miles do I need? I need seven more. Uh, I don't want to go over there just in case I start that quest. I don't really want to start the quest. I don't want to start a quest while I currently have one active. 
Um, let's see here. I place a dusking. There's someone that can be added, so. Course. You guys spread the word about my metalworking profession or something. Because I'm getting swamped with the quest. Left this armor, pots some pants for a canteen. You name it. Bah. Damn. Don't envy you. Gonna be okay. Not sure if okay is the right word. But yeah, I'll be fine. They picked the right man for the job after all. Maybe it's time for me to finally set up my own little shop. Workshop. You better enlist my services from time to time. Bah. As all I made to the new remembered stones will be fully detachable. You can pop them down, pick them up as many times as you like, till we find a place we can call home. Cheers, Ruben. Did a bang up job. Gahaha. <laughs> High praise indeed. Well, sooner or later, we're gonna have to find something a bit more permanent. Okay. Um. Alright, let's check out my community right now. 68%. Damn, okay. No one can currently be brought in. Because I need to... Well, I need to talk to you one more time. Which I will probably get once I complete Axel and... Other person's thing. You have a quest for me? But the only other quest... Oh, you must be all the way up there then. So I need one more recipe... Linka, I oh yeah, well Linka and Panacea, I still need to just complete their board, complete the boards. Well, Mickey, I just need to talk to you. Is you around? You might be around. Uh, Riku, I gotta do something with you. Oh yeah, Bobobi, that's gonna take a while, but we'll get there, I'm sure. No, he's not up yet. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, apparently there's a magnifying glass at the location. I knew it. I was like, I remember there was a sign over there. I should have just picked I should have just figured that out because I remember seeing that sign there. I should have just gone there. Made it. It's still storming. Maybe I should go face that one unique monster. And only my luck, though, it's not going to be storming when I get there. There we go! It's that symbol again. What's this one say, then? Hey, no, no, check. I'm looking. Virtuoso heir, ancient royal throne, on bare black rock face, standing alone. Very potent once again. This also seems to be pointing to location. Virtuous ghost air. That's all saying it's really high up, I guess. Air black rock face. We'll likely refer to the places George could pre directly. But why would there be a throw in that kind of spot? Well, no point racking our brains about. Right here. Let's mull it over while we walk. Is that gonna be at the Black Mountains? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Okay. Um. Let's see if it's still storming when I go here. We've arrived. It is. What okay. Is next? Then let's wrap up this area. At least in terms of this stuff, because. My knees felt that. My knees felt that. My knees felt that. Oh, never mind. I should have checked the level. Always check the level. So I cannot face any of these uh, unique monsters for a while. Okay, that's fine, though. Uh, I guess we'll go here. And you know what? Fuck it. Let's 
since we're gonna be here, let's do a this little continuation of the story. Or, like not continuation of the story, let's just keep going forward. In terms of like, uh... Oh, you're not a shadow beast. You used to be a shadow beast, but you're not a shadow beast anymore. Maybe it's only at night or something? Oh, I probably need to use this in order to get up there. Nothing like a bit of DIY. Nothing like a bit of DIY. DIY. Gotcha. Okay, here's the next message. A single ascension, four fearless flings, light rays, guidance to whence all springs. Another place by the sound of it. Light rays, like streaks of light, or something else. Don't suppose someone's just want lining us up here. Don't think that way. Anyway, we are playing fun, so we're all winners in the end. Seeing our artisan has guided us this far. It'll be hard to believe they left things end without a um, conservative payoff. Right, yeah, exactly what they said. Let's go out of limb and stick with it just a little longer. Yeah, let's go a little. Well, speaking of going a little bit far, let's keep. Ooh, hello. Perfect. I was about to say I'll, I'm, I'll keep going until I get to my gem unlock. So that's going to be for Glimmer. Might be time to freshen up the loadout. Perfect. And now, let's see, four strikes of light. I guess it's, it's all the way over here. Yep, right there. Exactly where I thought it was going to be. Because, yeah, you had to take the four, you had to take, like, the four ether lights to get there. I was like, that's probably where it's at. Okay. We've arrived. So there's a secret location here, and I believe there was a was there a relic here too, or is it just a secret location? There might I think there was something here, like a, a key item. <gasps> I can't believe I didn't realize that there was graffiti here. Eyes high on the gate, an old kingdom's fall. Eyes on the ground, the king's last recall. Will the riddles never end? The gate, old kingdom's demise. I suppose that's just a land that has already fallen. Uh, more importantly, how long is this wild Midas chase gonna go on for? Relax, kid. Judging by this message, I think the next stop will be the last one. How can you tell? I feel it in my bones. Reassuring. Look, just trust me, will you? I'm an old hand at this kind of stuff. We stuck it with this fall, right? Might as well see it through to the very end. Uh, my guess it's in the tunt the area with Tantal. So it's gonna be in uh, up here, right? No, not there. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like around this area. Oh wait, I was right. It's right here. Aha! So I was right, just not in the exact location. Aha! Well, I knew, and even then, I didn't even need that first one. That first hint was like, oh, it's probably in that area, because, duh, I saw the graffiti earlier. Here's our destination. Eyes high at the gate, and old kingdoms fall. Eyes at the ground, the king's last recall. <gasps> I 
Oh, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Some kind of gauge, I think. I've never seen one this shape, though. So, is that the answer to all the riddles? It's just some junk. Man, talk about a letdown. Boss, something on your mind? Titan's foot. I was sure I lost this ages ago. Find it now, in this condition. This has got to be fate at work. It seems you know something about this relic that we don't wreck. More or less. It's something I found when I was just a kid. A certain king asked me, see? Hauling up mega ancient rugs from the depths of the cloud sea. That was what salvagers like me did. Salvagers? Cloud sea? I'll have to fill you in on that later. In any case, it seems like the mysterious messages were addressed to me from the get-go. You're saying it's all been prearranged. It wasn't like a conspiracy or anything. Just a run-of-the-mill lesson. Just because the past's been lost and we can't never go back how things were, doesn't mean everything's gone. Some things have a habit of sticking around, so don't forget where you came from. Boss. So, uh, what do we do with that thing? Good question. Went through a lot to get. Might as well at least put it up at the command center. Can look at it and reminisce. I can think of worse ways to spend all time. Yeah, I remember, like, I think this is one of the items that you had to get from the king in one of these quests. The relic that was hidden in the final location was something that Rex once himself found. His memories of it remain as strong as ever. And with that accessory, I believe Glimmer is now completely done. Alright, so, we got one more quest at the city, or at Colony 9. And then we have that one more quest up there, too. We're only a little over an hour in, so... Hmm. We'll see. Anyway, I want to look at that relic Here's if it's exactly... The CL artifact's called an Orbital Sky Raider. To be blunt, I have no clue what it's for, but all, not all mysteries need clear answers. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that was, I think that was, like, one of the treasures you had to get from, for the king, for, like, one of his missions or something like that. I remember that. It was really nice. It was really nice. All right, let's do this, this kiddos. This is quite rare. Oh, it's Bar Cameron. Oh, you couldn't have come at a better time. Well, am I gonna like this? You're from the city, right? It's about these kids. Um, we want jobs to do too. Yeah, please. I'll do literally anything. Whoa, now, back up a sec. What's all this all about? I just told you. These little ones want to do something for the Liberators, and they won't take no for an answer. Well, well. I appreciate their eagerness, but I don't think we can get children involved in our affairs. Oh, that's a toughie. Help oh, with farming? Right, so let me get this straight. You two want to become soldiers? No, not soldiers. Oh, uh, then what? Dad always said we had to wait till we were grown-ups before we could fight. But I was always helping him out in the city. So I want to do something here as well. Gotta keep doing what we, what he told me to do. Because I keep doing this, he'll come back. He's got to. Uh, I'm pretty sure parents are dead. Okay, I'll get the picture now. How haven't you got anything these two could work on? Hold on, are you serious? Don't ask me, ask them. Yeah! Oh my god, they're adorable. Let's not make light of the... Conviction. I'm sure we can find something for children to work on if we try. Yes, all right. If you say so, boss. Come along to the command center. We can talk details there. Yeah! Um, thank you for listening to us. Yay! 
Yeah, thanks a bunch, Uncle Matt. Yeah, don't sweat. We can stick around for a bit until you guys get a proper task assigned. Go all the way with the kids, eh? This man's full of surprises. Me and I were always looking after nippers like these in the city. You can't dismiss them out of hand just because they're kids. Go speak to them on their level. Right, can't fault you there. That all came from Nile. Kids couldn't get enough of her. Anyway, ball time we have for the command center, yeah? Let's get a move on now, Axel, Finlay. Aw, oh, this is a sweet one. The junior workforce. I I like this. I'm already like I'm already liking this. There you are. So I've been having a look, and I think I found the perfect job for our younger aspirations. Aspirants. Really? Now be warned, it might take some getting used to at first. That being said, a job's a job, and I expect you to perform it to the best of your ability. Understand? Yes, sir. Well, don't keep us hanging. What's the gig? Right. There's this new shop scheduled up in the central plaza. It just so happened to be a little short-handed. They told me that they've got some work kids could handle, too. You can ask the proprietor on site for the specifics. I've already informed them on the arrangements. Thanks. You've been an ace help. Axel Finley, what do you say to the kind man? Thank you. Thanks, mister. Oh, it's no trouble. You two are caught, all right. So I could get four characters with now. these. With this quest done, I can get four characters, um... Added. And I need a proper thing to. And not a moment too soon. Crumbs told me all about you two. So I hear you're going to help me out in the shop, is that right? Uh uh huh. Work hard, I swear. Yeah, just show us what to do. <laughs> That's the spirit. Right. Let's get to your duties. Oh, but before that, I'll need to prep you with a little onboarding. Is that painful? In this year's shop, we have to manage a lot of different products. I want you two to organize the stock for me. Basically, you sort the stuff out and then put them where they're supposed to go. I'll go through the motions with you now. Think you're ready for it? I'm ready. Let's do it. Yeah, you sort them like a boss, kids. Ah, I like this one. Choose the category to which each item belongs from the options given. To pass, you must get them all right, but you can keep trying until you do. Okay. What categories of sour gooseberries? Ah, uh, fruit. Yeah, this is right. D well, mushrooms. That should do it. Uh... Nope, that one's wrong. You get a little... I think you hear a little chime. Nope, got that one wrong too. Nope, that was on. Fuck! Ah, so close. I'm seeing just a few teensy errors in the categorizations. Oh, so sorry. Really, that's weird. You're still new to this, and everyone makes mistakes anyway. Let's try this again from the top. Just speak to me when you're ready. If you're stuck. You can always ask us for input. What? There, if you need us. I think the oil latrine are seeds, if I remember correctly. Let me actually, like, look at them. Um Let's see, and this stuff, oh boy. Oh, Veronica is also mushrooms, okay. Oh, warning, oh, that, that's warning lamps. So dainty shrooms and mushroom.
Oh, Jack of all is also a mushroom. Okay. So gooseberry is a fruit. Rice is a mushroom. The vine nut. Yep, oil lentil is a seed. That's what it was. Yep, okay. We're good. Because I hope they're still the same stuff. Ah, shit. That's... That was also a mushroom. Milky soy. Ah. Vegetable. Damn it. That's a fruit. Damn it. Mushroom. Mushroom. Uh, is it a vegetable? Yeah, okay. That's a mushroom. And that's a seed. Yeah, third time's a charm. Well done indeed. Put them in the proper places. I can tell you'll be able to keep good track of the inventory. So it's okay for us to help out? It certainly is. You've done such a bad job, I should be the one asking you that. You keep this up and business is sure to be booming. Starting today, we're a team. It's all up to you guys now. Go get them. Thanks, Matthew. You'll stop by when we're open, won't you? Oh, you bet. Why Office New has been set up offering new products. Axel and Finley have been entrusted with the stock pile duties and the shop was open for business while hitch. Hey, we got our final art. Shop seems to be doing good business. Yeah, even though it's run by kids. Impressive stuff. That actually might be Mickey right there. Say, Matthew, you head off to the origin place then, are you? Let me in here for a second. Think you could tear some parts off of that big brute for me while you're at it? Even a little bit of casing will do. It's like that thing's made of... Isn't made of your ordinary metals. In fact, I bet you it's ex quite extraordinary. Oh, no, sorry, mate. But we ain't got the time to be fine fiddling around doing stuff like that. Uh, I suppose not, no. Never mind, then. Just thought I couldn't hurt to ask. Yeah, man, sphere's really changed around here ever since you guys showed up, you know? Y'all yeah, changed how? No, oh, come on, man. Don't let. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. Sometimes I can't tell if you're being modest or if you're just that dense. I mean, it's the moods really lighten up. It really did make a difference to people's morale. You think? If you say so, don't mind if I bask in the praise. If you're angling for a reward. You just ask me for help anytime you need. I'll come running. Good thing we heard them out. 
Oh, those kids managing by the way. So keeping business afloat. Yep, they had a bit of on the job train. I'm gonna be ranking in a tidy profit soon enough. Yeah, that's so. Those tykes really have a good head on their shoulders. Better knuckle down myself before they outdo me. Just about managing thanks to those hard handover documents Shulk and Rex gave us. So thanks for that. Oh, don't mention it. Means my stop. Laving away all night was for nothing. We really are lifesavers, though. If we follow you right up to the letter, I think we can tackle just about whatever comes our way. We trust you've got all under control, Krom. Yes, sir. And thank you kindly. Krom's got covered. I heard Axel and Finley were given a job. I couldn't believe it at first. And yet some of our lot have all but given up on the will to live. Those little troopers. They'll be wanting to reassure their parents. Wait for the day they'll come home. Kids will realize something else. Aren't they, though? It seems that if there's something I could do for them in return. Okay, so no one else. Alright, well... There's definitely some characters I can definitely... I just need to talk to Finley. Well, Finley should be around here somewhere then, unless she's like... Well, not there. Could she be like up there? So I think I've seen her like... Almost walking around that area. Unless she's at the store. Or, or she could be right there. Nope, okay. Time to buy some first-rate crud. Ah, Milky Soid was a seed. Okay. Okay, well... Milky should be around somewhere, but let me talk to the kids first since they're going to be having to go soon. Oh, you're right here. Yay, everyone says we're doing a really good job running the shop. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. I don't know if this place would do without you, Finley. <laughs> I got another compliment. That's a new record. Should probably talk face to face. I like it here. Everyone's super nice to me. But it'd be even nicer if mom and dad, mommy and daddy could come home. They will, I'm sure. So you be good kids and hold the fort with your brother for now, okay? Okay, I'm a good kid. I'm gonna hold all the forts. <laughs> I'm gonna hold all the forts. Are you about to go to work too, Uncle Matthew? <laughs> sure am. It'll be a job of a lifetime. You look out of things from here, okay, Finley? Okay, I'll keep things in order while you're away. Good luck. Okay, so the brother should be here too, right? Nope, not quest. 74%. What's the brother's name? Axel. Yeah. Oh, you don't show up until 21? What the fuck, bro? Okay, well, let's talk to, not you, because I still need one food, which is probably what I'll get that last quest for. Like, uh, Mickey, you gotta be around here, right? Yeah, there you are. All the way at the fucking camp, okay. Which I think is perfect, because then I can change the time. Maybe what I can do then is I'll go to where that quest is at, and then maybe I'll call it a park. We'll see. Matthew, hey, listen. I got assigned to the city search and rescue squad. Nice. That's a big responsibility you got there, pal. I know. Jetro, the squad leader, appointed me himself, too. Jetro, eh? 
He's got a good head on his shoulders. You can trust him. If you think he's impressive, then I really need to pull my finger out. Shall we go see them briefly? Last time I left Colony 9, some fog beast turned up again. Yikes, were you okay? I was. Didn't freeze up this time. Felt like my life depended on it. Yes, a boy. You're a quick learner, ain't ya? You keep on like this and you'll have surprised me before you know it. Better get my act in order. Don't be silly, Matthew. This will never that's never going to happen. Cause I want to fight by your side. I'll never try to be get better than you. Heh, <laughs> that's the passion I want to see. You don't feel up to it, there's always a place for you here, right by me. I'll see you soon. Sooner than you think. Especially since he freaking loves your sister. Nikki. Yes, Matthew. Um, I I'm sorry. Have I done something wrong? Once this is all over, you and me need to have a little heart to heart. Huh? Oh. Yes, sir. Poor child. Nah. <laughs> Matthew, let me fight too. Let me go with you, please. Mickey. I I'm sorry. I've just been a burden, won't I? I don't even have the old boy's power. I appreciate the sentiment, man. But we're gonna have to go it alone just this once. I understand. Sorry, that was a selfish of me. But I'll make sure to hold down the fort here so you guys can fight with every ounce of strength you've got. Good on ya. I know you've got us covered, Mickey. Okay, so. I have all the community people. I'm at 77%. Axel. I just need to talk to him a couple of times. I'm actually just going to track him and then I'll be able to wrap him up. And then I'll be able to get her to... So let's go to 21. I'll change the time to 21. Because then he should be out and about. And you should still be out and about. But Bobby is going to take a while. I still need to get one more recipe. Complete the request boards. Complete the request boards and something. Okay. And I need Boboey for you. Okay. Oh, wait. Can I Can I just check? How do I change the time again? Systems? Yeah, change time. Uh, 21. There we are. All right. And I'm coming back for you. Talk to you for a little bit once I talk to Axel like five times. Honestly, I'm surprised that I was able to, like, do all this stuff I feel like in a very timely fashion. I might not even cut that much out. Cameron promised me something super exciting when we come to the shop. He said I'm allowed to train with him when I'm old enough to be a soldier. Well, some forward thinking of doing that, little guy. Putting all grown-ups to shame. Um, uh, Mr. Rex? Hmm, that's my name. What's that funny metal, uh, arrow thing you me, Jake, attached to your arm? This, this is an anchor. You hook it on something solid when you, and then when you reel it in, you can zip around like nobody's business. When you get used to it, you can play about with the trajectory and use it to trip up your enemies. We even send them flying. Oh, that sounds so cool. Haha, <laughs> now there's a man out of my own heart. We'll make a soldier of you yet, kiddo. Shall we go see them briefly? Matthew, have you heard anything about my mom and dad? Don't give up, Ax Axel. There's still every chance we'll find your folks. You infinitely found each other, didn't you? Yeah, you're right. We'll find them. Right now, I've got to keep Finley safe. What are big brothers for, right? Good luck, Axel. I'm proud of you. Aww. Keep in touch, yeah? I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure Mom and Dad get back here safe. If it gets rough, you know you can always ask one of us grown-ups for help. We're all one big family here. So does that make you my big brother, Matthew? You got it. Hey. You won't call me Matt Matt, no pun double name style. Okay, Matt Matt. Heh, <laughs> double name indeed. Aww, Rex Rex. Oh, oh, that hurt, that, that, that put a smile on my face. Good old Rex Rex. And Rex remembered, he's like, yeah, I remember that. Okay, I just want to make sure I talk to her and she joins and then that's it. And all the other ones have to be other stuff for now. Matthew, I've decided. I'm going to build an orphanage for the children who survived this terrible ordeal. An orphanage, eh? We ought to want to stay as well. Might be just what this place needs. These children need to get a proper education, of course. But they really need most as a family. Brother relations shouldn't even come into it. I think we have a duty to foster them and give them the support they, they need. I'll help you with that. I'm actually pretty good with kids. Oh, that would be wonderful. 
Don't know if you knew, but my sis used to take care of the kids at the orphanage. Oh, is that so? Well, then I'd love for her to give me a few pointers sometime. Sure thing. We should ask her. Okay. So we've got to be at like 80 some, 82% with one, two. Okay, so one. Bobibi is going to take a while. I need to find that one little last recipe, which I think that one quest is tied to. And Linka and Panacea are tied to quest at the board, which we haven't gotten yet. So, and Riku, who knows what the fuck I need to do with him. And you need Bobo Bobobi. So, we are good. Okay. That being said, let's do a... Let's try... We're going to try my... We're going to try the damnedest to at least... Oh, God. That is quite a ways away, isn't it? Okay. Let, maybe let's try to get to this spot then first then. Okay. We'll try again there. Alrighty. Can I actually... No, I cannot. Never mind. I was like, can I open that door? Nope. Okay. Alright, let's go up here. Let's see what we can do. It's got into morning. What's over here? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I thought we were done for. Not mean to do that. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Ah, fuck me. This this is quite rare. This is quite wet. Pawn metal. Oh god. Okay. Come on. Thank you. I was supposed to say, are you fucking kidding me? I know. Yeah. Phew. We've climbed a long flipping way. They might be ready to rest soon. This might be a unique monster in this spot right here. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. Accessory. Oh, gem. Okay. Oh yeah, I also found a lot of those um manuals as well for uh um you know about with the unity. I'm only missing two, and they're both Shulk. It's oh, I'm only missing one. Never mind. I'm missing one. It's with Shulk and A. That's the only one I'm missing. Alright, uh, Gem. I believe the next one is Shulk. Yep. Let's review our equipment. So I need two accessories and one gem. And then everyone would be up. A 
Up and about. Salvage time. Salvage time. Alright, there's still a couple of rest bots, field crafting, so we're for sure gonna get at least one more of those ether mast things. So alright, what's gonna happen here? Hey. Go on. When I turned down the chance to be a god, I lost the power to have visions. But you, A. Eh? There is no single established future. You should know that better than anyone, Shulk. Huh. If I were to tell you now what form your futures might one day take, it would be but one possibility, and a hazy one at that. The thing that gives shape to the future, it is your will. That's all the future is, Shulk. Huh. You're quite right. I don't relish getting old. Age saps my courage. That's perfectly correct. Leaping blade first into thick of fray. Is game best left to young and reckless? You said it, Riku. Actually, is Masterpon who say? Your master, eh? Masterpon say, when fine ones such give this. Isn't that? Huh? Everyone is right here. And also with Shulk there. You're right. So when he has lucky seven? Hmm. I don't know what's going on anymore. If I did the thing with Riku. Check the uh, Riku's workshop. Did I just make a camp? Fuck it, let's do that. Okay. Okay, we've arrived. Lucky seven. It catch eye a friend. Huh? Um, yeah, God admit it has. Then Riku revealed curiosity just this once. A special reward for services rendered. It is! Whoa, that's a wicked looking blade. Even I can't tell if it's... Even I can tell it's master work. And I don't know the first thing about swords. Yes, it's just as friend says. It impossible to conceal. Sword is special weapon, forged from metal of origin origin. What? Like origin origin? It's said that origin is place where memories and souls of people are gathered. That go also for the sword, forged from origin metal as it be. According to Master Pawn, dearly important people reside inside. Important people in a sword. Are we gonna learn who your fucking master is it? Was your fucking master Torah? Master Pawn has said to Riku many, many yonks past. One day will come when Riku must give sword to person who is worthy. So this Master Pawn of yours made a sword from origin, bits. Who that could have done a thing like that? A no pawn, I bet, right? Min me, me, what friend saying? Master Pawn of Riku was friend Meli, did Riku not say? Melia? 
Melia made the sword? Melia's your master pawn? Melly? Who's that? Really? No way. You can't seriously mean Melia, the queen of Kevis. Exactly. Exactly. Like Riku say, Melly. Dead upon of Riku and Melly. Once traveling companions, eh? But it long story, so Riku rather not. <gasps> oh! You're Riku's son? You're Riku's son? I am so sorry, Riku. I have treated you so harshly. But you are the son of the hero upon Riki? Oh. Sounds like you're kind of a big deal then, eh? Please not to spread this story around. Riku not fans celebrating name dropping. Right, I see. Yeah, sure, you got it. Say, Riku, does the sword have a name? Of course, the name of the sword is Lucky Seven. Lucky Seven? What friend think? Cool, no? Terrific? Perhaps magnificent, even. Pretty decent. Or serious. Sure, yeah. It's got a nice ring to it. I like it, personally. Uh... Meh, friend Matthew is first who say so. Lucky seven, eh? Hope you get to meet your worthy new master someday. Fingers crossed, eh? And my gauntlet will cover it. We may be able to ask them this and that. Hey Riku, once all this sword, what's you gonna go get up to? Silly question. Naturally, Riku will continue work on Ouroboros Stone as he have promised. And after that, who knows? Maybe in institute self into Kevis for some little while and wait. Wait? Wait for what? Answer will become clear in fullness of time. Wow, evasive much, mate. No worries, though. You can keep your cards to your chest if you like. All that Riku say. Riku mean for deep, deep future. Riku plan to impose on city hospitality for a good long time yet. Fuck you, Riku. I fucking love you, though. God damn it. So Melly, Melia, oh my God. Melia was, no wonder she gave him the nod at the end there. No wonder there was the, that nod at the end. Like, yes, there's the nod when we rescued her. Melia was Riku's master pawn. Yeah. And not only that, he's also Riki's son. <laughs> I am flabbergasted. Oh, best not look down. Ah, Prison Island. Straight up. Some new enemies too, but they won't bother us. A most uncommon item. Check that out. Yes, I'm getting it. Wanna grab it just in case. Probably no oh, palmetto in. Check it out. A no palmetto. Yep. We'd best hold on to it. I got five more of those left. I don't think they're from containers, though. So. Oh my god, that's straight up a dragon. Another unique monster. Or is no, you're just a regular monster. Ew. Okay. Okay, I just. You know what? I want to get up just a little bit further. I, I am going to cut some stuff out because I did have to go to the bathroom a little bit, so. Everyone's, oh, right. I was going to see how much, uh, uh, how many levels I can go up. And I was going to eat food too. God damn it. Maybe next time we get to the camp. Maybe next time we get to a campsite. I'm 
one more ether channel, then we'd have all the ether we need to construct everything. There's a Telepia. This is pretty rare, right? Maybe not a Telepia, but it looks like one. Yep, Prison Island. Oh, the music. Black crystals. Hey, these are black. If I already had enough black crystals to make everything that I needed. Oh, I remember this area. This is where uh, there's a heart to heart between Melly and. Uh... Wipe them off the face of Ionios. Damn it. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeem. And the next part, guys, it could be the finale. You never know. We got uh, we got that quest there and then continue onward still. So we'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give the like button a click. And comment down below what you like about the video, the link about the video. And let me know, guys, uh, what do you think of all those quests that we did? And more importantly, we learned the biggest question was who Riku's Master Pawn was and learned that his father was Ricky. Oh my god. I think that's probably the biggest reveal so far in this entire uh, series, in this entire game. Yeah, let me know how you guys felt about it all. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. As I got a main channel too, that's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.